Mizuki went to Bloom Park three nights ago. She was prompted by a Nile message from Renju. There are three possibilities. One, Renju killed Shoko, or was an accessory to the murder. Two, Renju was threatened or blackmailed into luring Mizuki to the scene. Three, the culprit used Renju's phone to send the Nile message. In any case, the motive is still unknown. We need to talk to Renju. Renju? Where did you go? You asked Mama at Marble for information regarding Renju Okiura, correct? It is possible she may have something for you by now. We can talk to Iris's mom as well. She was Renju's classmate, right? Iba told me about her. I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. The same Okiuras we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. But it can't be a coincidence. It certainly is suspicious. I would suggest searching the warehouse again. You may be able to discover why Iris was resurrected. It is absurd. Not possible. Dreams are figments of the imagination. An incident which took place entirely in your mind cannot have any bearing on the real world. That is preposterous. Consider it. If you were to find money in your dream, does your bank account balance go up in reality? If you were to be attacked by aliens in your dream, does a swarm of UFOs invade Earth? But at the warehouse, I... You must have been hallucinating. Within Mizuki's Somnium, you saw Iris's frozen corpse. It is affecting your mental state. Last night, you were so phased by it that you couldn't speak. If it bothers you to this degree, why not go talk to Iris? Her cell phone is on. I can trace her via GPS. She is currently somewhere in the Lemniscate building. Congressman Sejima is suspicious in more ways than one. Exhibit A. Three days ago, so called Shoko Nadami's phone. We still don't know exactly why. He only told us it was meant to be private. 
Exhibit B. Sosajima was at Okura Fishery Warehouse last night. But he didn't inform us of this. There must be something he doesn't want us knowing. Exhibit C. So was an Iris's Somnium. Dreams are constructed from memories. Yet the good congressman denies he ever knew Iris. I sent him home yesterday. You released him? What was I supposed to do? We can't hold him without solid proof. What we saw with Iris hasn't happened yet. In any case, we have to speak with him again. Stranger things have been known to happen. Two days ago, Date found Iris's frozen corpse in Mizuki's Somnium. It must have been a prophecy. Boss... There's a lot of stuff in this world that can't be explained by science. Date and Iba saved Iris Insomnium. And that changed the history of the real world? Hmm. Well, I guess it's not impossible. That isn't what you said yesterday. That was then, this is now. A woman's mind changes with the phases of the moon, you know. No, it doesn't. Anyway, I believe in Date. I trust him more than anyone else in Abyss. There are four people I should talk to. So Sejima, Iris and Hitomi Sagan, and Mama. And I need to check the warehouse one more time. We have many avenues of investigation. Let's get moving. Sojima is a key person of interest in this case. Earlier, the boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her assessment. I checked the call logs of So's phones. Congressman Sojima has one phone under his name, and a burner phone rented under a fake name. Did you find anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. Really? But I do have something. I looked into So's secretary's phone. One call in particular stood out to me. Huh? It was one week ago. From Fuchu Prison. The caller identified themselves as inmate number 89. Number 89? Yes. This is most likely the same person who called HQ. I know killed Shogun Adami.
when you crash, the first thing you hit is the dash. Interesting. Around. No, don't! Resist the urge. This box is where you keep your doves. It's not a dove box. Date, this reminds me of Egyptian mythology. Hathor, the mother of Ra. The mirror was one of her sacred symbols. Wasn't she a cow or something? an assassin. He accepts jobs from the criminal underworld for substantial rewards. His code name is Falco. Falco? Correct. Murder. He is serving a life sentence for multiple counts. He was imprisoned six years ago. Six years ago? Unknown. You don't know? He is not registered in any databases. He could be a foreigner or recent immigrant, but it would be impossible to determine from where. However, I did not detect any accent in his speech. I believe we can conclude that he grew up in Japan. Unknown. You would have to ask Mr. Sejima for that information. Number 89 said he knew who killed Shogo. He did. But that may be a lie. Does he have any connections to the Cyclops serial killings? Unknown. In all honesty, I have no idea. Number 89. Should we visit Fuchu Prison? No. We don't have time. Call up boss. Tell her to request that number 89 be brought to Abyss. Roger. I heard there was no body found at the cold storage warehouse. Isn't your investigation over?
Speaking of gardens, what kind do you prefer? I like a well-manicured lawn. But some bushes aren't bad either. I mean, what? Iba, look! A merman! So is a wealthy politician. It is no surprise to me that he has a merman. Wait! A merman? Oh! Hey, everybody! I'm a merman. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know that girl. I've never seen her before. Date. I knew he was lying. This proves it. I am having difficulty determining his motive for lying. After all, Iris was not killed. Maybe he's got a secret with her he doesn't want us knowing. What are you hiding so? I told you, I will not answer that question. And why not? We didn't find anything there. There's nothing to hide. It appears that he will not respond. You are beginning to irritate me. What did you want to talk to her about? What is the private matter you mentioned? What is your relationship with her? I'll answer your questions when you present a warrant. <sighs> Number 89? Who is that? An inmate at Fuchu Prison. He used to go by Falco. He was an assassin. Odd, finding such a person in Japan. What about him? About a week ago, he called your secretary. I don't know anything about that. He was probably calling for a pardon or some such nonsense. My secretary probably decided it wasn't worth my attention. If you need information, you can ask her. I can't help you. Haven't you people got enough? 
I'm very busy. Excuse me. Oh, actually, I do have one more thing to tell you. To be honest, Kaname Date, I don't like you. I don't ever want to see you again. So I suggest that you don't show your face here anymore. It's what's best for both of us, understand? Who does this guy think he is? Date, your blood pressure is skyrocketing. Any higher could kill you. <sighs> Relax, Date. We still have much to do. I know, I know.